uh, three rows here, mm -hmm. and you guys, can you see a difference between these rows and the rest of the greenhouse? What differences do you kind of mm -hmm. observe? Clean underneath. Clean feet, dry feet. And straight. Yep. That's fully touching the ground. Mm -hmm. Right out, because that's when that's it starts getting diseasy and hotty. We get, mm -hmm. um, we get, we get this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then also, um, some of that can lead to blossom and rot. And stuff. <laughs> Good. All righty. Um, so, in no particular order, the first one of the uh, things River and I have been working on doing is selecting one vine to be the primary vine. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going to be this one here. And that means there's we'll have subsequent vines coming out of this, which is right here. Okay. Um, now... Um, this one's got a flower scaffold on it, but we don't want it to be a vine anymore. So see this new vine coming here? Right there? Mm -hmm. We're going to pinch that. Okay, so that one's been terminated. And then we're just going to go around and do an inventory. Um, this one has a flower truss, truss, but we don't want it to go any further vining, so we just took that vine off. Mm -hmm. This one has a flower truss, and it's got a little vine coming there. Okay, we just terminated that, and there's another vine coming here, so we got that. Um, then we even have to go and explore down here. There's another vine coming here. To conserving energy? Well, we're trying to get up focus. the light. Okay. We get much better light, because this is all going to be kind of... Um, so there's another vine coming here. So how many have I taken off so far? Four. Four. Yeah, there's five. Okay, then so the first is you know, to pick a leader. Also, we're going to bring this together and um, kind of looking for leaves that will that'll prevent me from pulling it together. So that will prevent those branches from coming in. Okay, and now I'm going to die down here and get this off the ground. Also, if we've got a lot of stuff going, I'm going to actually favor some of the stuff that's facing south. Here, I've got, I've got some leaves that are touching the ground. And uh, maybe that, okay. So we're going to have plenty of photosynthesis with uh, the plant as it comes up, the trellis. Okay, then the last step is to take these tomato clips. Mm. Yeah, and there are little teeth on them if you want to look at it. And um, what kind of works well is to put it mm -hmm. so yeah, the teeth the teeth actually grab like that, and then to bring in these vines, mm. and then it clips it. This one actually has a few more vines than normal. And what we're doing is they, these branches are freestanding now, but you get half a dozen or four, you know, half pound tomatoes on them and the branches break off and fall to the ground. Mm, it's heavy. So we need to now truss these up so that when the fruit comes, it's... Um, Okay, good example here. See how this branch is going right into that. It is pointing right at this at this one, so I want to bring this up. And now I can pull that branch in. And uh, there are two over here, which is going to kind of be a pain. This one, because I had to take half a dozen off, it didn't... Uh, I really didn't get them all, but that's a good start. And I'm actually going to just take that one off so we don't have too much. Hmm. And then um, I'll skip this one and I'll... Uh, why don't I go over to one of these that's getting giant. <laughs> How's that? Hmm. One that looks like it needs the most help. 
my reel. So here's an example of a couple vines that have fallen on the ground because they weren't supported. So we're just going to take them off. And uh, here's a, right out. So the river's on one right there. And he's going to go and bring that in. Nice. Good. So Okay, let's clean up this. We're going to take, this has got a vine we're going to take off. This has got another vine here. We're going to keep that flower truss. River's actually really good at this part. <laughs> okay, so this is the same plant, right? Whoa. Two plants. Okay, this is the same plant. So this has been chosen as the primary leader. Then I've got a vine coming here. We're going to stop it vining there. We're going to stop it vining there. And see how we just have the flower truss left? and it's not going to put out any more vines. So this is going to keep going. This is going to stop and just give us fruit. Simple. <laughs> and then um, I look for branches that might be going in. And then I put the clip here, and then I kind of come in like a monster and bite it. I'll show that to my kids. <laughs> now I'm going to pull this in and up and we have, it's kind of shagadelic in here, it's kind of a mess. See these leaves? We got fruit here, I got another vine here, and let's, look at the size of this fruit that's coming here. Yes. Do you guys kind of get the picture of how much weight that's going to be? Oh, yeah. So we're getting all of this off the ground. And uh, this leaf, this has got some disease on it, so we're just going to clear that out. And now is the one time we're just going to go hard on, um, so I took another vine off, that was another leader. This is pointing in, so I'm going to take that off so I can pull this branch up. And then I need to pull this up. Let's, let's just... Let's emphasize one here. So we'll sacrifice that. But then now that I've really cleaned this up, it lets me easily bring this guy into, into the plant. And uh, there we go. See? See, I took off the stuff. Now I can bring it up. And then I've got a couple going here. I would probably, we'll probably need to just favor one. And this is going to get the best light on the south side. So I'm going to just favor that one. And uh, see if I can put that and bring it in. Because if we tried to do favor both of them, I might even clip. We just need enough to keep the branch from breaking once it has fruit on it. Okay, how does that look to everybody? That's mm -hmm. our, this is our plant now. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Okay, <laughs> she's nice and tidy. Her feet are off the ground. Her feet are, aren't going to get wet. Also, it lets when the irrigation's running. Imagine how much more, um, and see the roots being exposed too? I'm just going to do a little, give her a little love there. So when it irrigates now, I'm going to be able to get more water down in the bottom by the feet too. But I'm not going to have the problem of, of uh, that's a good shot mm. there. Mm. It's just a fungus that's coming out and it'll keep it. <laughs> so there we have it. We're going to have beautiful plants. We're going to get a lot of light on them. They're going to be up. We're going to be able to walk down the aisle and harvest easily. Our fruit's going to be clean. It's going to be disease-free. We're going to have a great harvest. Yeah. Thanks a lot. All right. <laughs>